Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first couple of weeks of April 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. Make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call. Um, you can request a call back, and if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Um, also, check out Patreon if you haven't been able to do so. The Venus sign readings are there now. I do those monthly, as well as additional uh, content that you might enjoy. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the Two of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we've got the Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Magician. All right. So the overall energy, I feel like you guys are connecting with someone, whether it's an existing relationship or something new. Um, but I feel that there is a mutual connection that you're having with someone, mutual romantic feelings. Um, definitely looks like someone is going to pursue you romantically or is going to be confirmed that they're interested the only thing that is starting to bother me is just kind of looking at the rest of the cards. Um, okay, so even though there is an um, attraction between you and another person, I feel like there is some sort of resistant resistance towards it for whatever reason. Um, sometimes I get this because, you know, maybe someone's in a relationship and so they're like, ooh, I, can't, I don't want to go there. Um... It also could just be someone is um, just pushing the other person away for whatever reason, but does look like maybe someone is really pushing hard to get your attention. Uh, this person also may be doing little things here and there um, to get a rise out of you, but you know, I feel that maybe you are going to be successful at overcoming any type of uh, temptation if you don't want to be tempted, even though there's a connection there. Mm, there is someone who stands out from the rest of the people that you're talking to. It also could be for those of you that are in re established relationships that... Um, it looks like there's a little bit of bickering between you and your partner, but it may be intentional to spice things up. Or maybe someone is just trying to see if you care. So they're doing irritating things to get a rise out of you. Hmm. Those of you that are single, though, I feel like you, you're being admired. Like, maybe there's uh, more than one person trying to show you that they feel that you are appreciated or valued. I feel like you're also coming off as very confident and mature. So there may be a, a fire sign that is attracted to you, but there, I still feel like maybe they're communicating with you in uh, ways that are confusing or they're sending mixed signals. Um, this person also may just be communicating indirectly. They may be coming off as just be playing mind games. Maybe you feel like you can't take somebody serious. You're like, are you serious? Like, or what are your intentions? Like, I feel like maybe it's hard to read someone's intentions. Like, you are wanting to know... If this person is into you, um, is it just for sex? Is it just for money? Is it just to get something that they need? You know, you know, what is this? 
What are your intentions? And I feel like that's something that you're kind of confused about. Maybe someone just keeps changing. They're just hard to read. Somebody could could be stringing you along only because they don't want you to move on. Um, so because they haven't decided what they want to do, they are doing things to um, distract you from moving on. Now it also looks like someone someone does intentionally cause drama or arguments. Mm. Be careful about your existing relationship because it looks like uh, the potential of an envious person trying to break you guys up. Trying to uh, maybe do a, a breakup spell or maybe they're putting rumors out there or whispering in your ear trying to say something discouraging and make you not like the person anymore. Like something's going on where someone with ill intentions maybe trying to uh, destroy a, really, a connection that you have. Um... I feel like someone is also finding, you know, clever ways or making excuses to have a conversation with you. I'm getting frustration though. If there's a lot of um, arguments, I feel like you are going to take the high road or you're going to uh, somehow detach from that type of energy. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, there's someone that um, is wanting to get your attention, but I feel like you're not going to give this person attention. I feel like you're going to turn a blind eye or you're going to ignore them or you're just simply not going to respond even though you want to. But see, I feel like something is deceptive on your end if that's the case because I don't know what your situation is but it does look like it does look like the feelings are mutual but you are refusing to show them or there's a form of self-sabotage. Now, uh, granted, like I said, everyone's situation is going to be different. So if you're in a relationship, I get it. But if you're not in a relationship, I'm not quite sure what the reason is. Um, maybe, maybe it's because it's hard to read this person or you feel like they're just stringing you along or they want something. You can't figure them out. So I feel like maybe you're tr just trying to avoid this person. I also feel that it's possible that you have a soul contract with someone, but you know, it's like you're trying to avoid it or get out of it. Or maybe you're asking the universe, can you swap? You're like, can, we, can I swap partners? Like, <laughs> I want someone else. I see something also like maybe you're trying to manifest something. You could be doing attraction spells or any form of manipulating energies to bring love into your life. else got a similar clarification about their soulmate like somebody's soulmate is manipulative but it's like you can see straight through it and call them out on it um but maybe you guys both take turns playing mind games with each other so you can read each other i'm thinking about nini league so she's like we see each other <laughs> I don't know if you're a real Housewives fan, but yeah. <sighs> okay, so something is confusing. Someone is hard to read. They do send mixed signals. 
I think there's also a fear of someone playing with your emotions. I also feel like someone is worried about being tempted or seduced. It's like, don't tempt me if your intentions aren't real. Don't seduce me. Don't pull me. Don't lure me. Hmm. I feel that you may want to take your time in regards to making some sort of decision because I feel like you might feel that your judgment is clouded. You're like, I'm not going to make the right decision. Um, you know, I might make a foolish decision because I'm all mesmerized or I'm so in love with this person. I'm not thinking straight. So I do feel that. If you do need to make any type of decisions in regards to the direction of your love life to hold off until you have clarity because something is a little confusing something something's a little blurry somebody also may literally be nearsighted Yeah, I feel like someone desires you, but they're committed and they don't want to be viewed as a cheater uh, or vice versa. I don't know if you had at one point cut out a fire sign or if they cut you out. If they turned you away before, I don't know if this person is approaching you. Okay, so I'm getting that whoever's approaching you, the other reason why you may not want to move forward with them is because something's missing. It was missing before and you feel like there's nothing that can, you know, fulfill whatever was missing between us. So it's like you simply just don't want to get back with someone because it wasn't there. It was maybe you were physically attracted to the person, but something was missing. No depth or no chemistry or something. If you're single, even though you might have someone like trying to get your attention uh, or you feel like a mutual attraction to someone <clears throat> I just feel like you're still going to take your time in opening up to them Someone's been fantasizing about you and feels that you are their soulmate. Um, I feel that you give someone like butterflies or just surges of electricity when they think of you. Um, but I feel like you aren't paying someone attention. Maybe you are unaware that this person's into you. But I do feel like you are someone's ideal partner. This person can see themselves settling down with you, having a family with you, or just living together or living your life together. You're someone's fantasy. I feel like either you really hurt in, um, a fire sign or a fire sign hurt you. Whatever the case, I feel like you are going to set boundaries with people because you don't want to be um, manipulated or lied to or you don't want someone playing mind games with you. Yeah. And I feel like there's a very similar message that just came out in the fire sign reading. So if you are oh, a Sagittarius reading. So if you are 
connect it with the Sagittarius, somehow your readings might belong together. All right, so hopefully these messages have resonated, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Cindy Loving Grace.